so in this session we will see uh, about routines uh, so routines are basically uh, will be used for uh, for completing any repeated tasks so uh, we can say uh, so it's a easiest way uh, to suppose if you want to update uh, or if you want to send a notification uh, to owner to opportunity or owner or lead owner uh, like every day or something kind of follow up email or every week okay so this action can be done using workflows and whatever uh, we do with routines right so this can be managed with uh the object workflows and schedule process and then with with groovy so with this we can manage but this tool will be uh, will simplify all that process you don't need to write any groovy you don't need to uh, define any additional setups it just with uh, uh this routine tool so we can simplify that process so now we will see that how uh, what are the features of uh, um, the routines so to navigate to routines so you can go to application composer and one more thing uh, so this routines is not only uh, i mean applicable for um, redwood sales so it 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 can be used uh, independently without redwood sales i mean with um if you are using red uh, adf ui also so this is uh, this is available so you should be out of the sandbox and uh, if you go to common setup you can see a tool called routine and from here so this is the this is the work area of routines and currently these are available uh, routines so each routine you can create here and then you can do these actions so you can change the owner delete run view edit activate so to uh to uh to be available it should be in active mode and then uh, if you want to create a new routine so then we'll use this create routine and here uh, we will have different templates uh, predefined templates so that are available so this gives uh, some uh, like out of the box with template suppose if you want to send an email right so you can choose something like this something like follow up um so it it gives the description you can see and later you can choose the uh, object so uh, all all objects all sales objects will be available here and uh, even custom objects will also appear here so here deal room is a custom object okay, you choose the object and then click next so these are the different steps basic details trigger and actions and rules and then submit in base in trigger uh, right so we need to choose the trigger point so this trigger point is basically schedule uh, the uh, the at what time i mean uh, for every hourly so hourly daily weekly monthly so these are all the options we have so we don't have in minutes so it is the minimum is hourly and uh the other uh routine uh, um i mean 
other options we have is when record is created. So it can trigger. So this is record specific and this is a kind of a batch. So whenever record created, so this routine will run and when record deleted and add attribute change it. So this is, uh, this is, uh, this can be used for even record updated because uh, we need to specify the specific fields to update. And uh, so then only it will trigger. So you can select uh, these fields here. Okay. And then, uh, okay. So it, there is one more option, set, scheduled routine with elevated access. So with this type of uh, routines, uh, you will not be able to change the trigger point. So suppose, so there is one elevated uh, access routine, okay? So if you try to edit this, Um, let me check. Okay. You will not be able to change these options in the trigger point. Okay, and then uh, you click the next. And here we need to specify the actions. So what action need to be performed on this uh, particular uh, routine? So we have uh, very few um, actions by default. Uh, the, the common ones are uh, up field update and then, and then send an email. So these are all the uh, action types by default we will get. Here if you see the first action type is field update. So we can update multiple fields here. Okay, you can select uh, the fields. If you want to add a new field, just come here and then add And then uh, so once you added an any action type, so you can't uh, use you can't add again one more time. So but some but uh, within that action type, right? So you can add all other fields. But again, you can't add field update action type. So even here, um, you have uh, one more action type called create task. So it 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 is uh, used to basically to create an act activity. Okay, you can create only one activity, and even if you try to uh, add one more action type, so it doesn't appear. And then uh, another action type is send email. So you will, you can send an email. So you can choose the attributes available here uh, to the uh, team for that particular record. Suppose here manager of owner ID lead created by lead updated team members. And these are all different uh, fields available. And then you will, you can give CC a subject. Okay. And in the subject also, you can add the attribute values here. So just select the attribute from here. 
from the uh, right side and just click. If you just click on account uh, the field name, so it will be inserted here. And then same way you can construct a body. So this is not supported uh, with HTML. It's a plain text. Uh, it doesn't support HTML. So you can uh, you can use the plain text here. And uh, you can add the deep link by using the syntax deep link of view. Uh, so it takes the current object uh, link. So now we are in lead, so it takes the lead deep link. So it will give a link to uh, to navigate to a specific upper, uh, specific uh, lead whenever an email is sent from that particular record. And uh, other action types are uh, something like convert. So this this is uh, this comes basically from Smart Actions. So if you go to smart actions, so uh, we can see this smart actions. Convert is a smart action. So you can uh, you can call that smart actions here in action types. Okay. So then once you choose the trigger point, then um, and action. So then you can click next. And here is the place where we need to select the criteria for uh, for qualifying this uh, protein. So here you can add uh, the conditions, like uh, multiple conditions. You can add and or with that combinations using this group. So each group, right? So this group. Um, so this is one group, and you can add another group. And then you can say at the end, include all groups or any one group. So this is kind of uh, the all the conditions in here. Or if you choose all groups, it will be and. If you choose any group, so it will be either this group condition or this group condition. And within this group, so you can you can choose uh, again include all the fields for and condition any of the field for or condition and then um, so you can you can add any uh, dependent uh, object uh, criteria suppose for uh, lead right so these are all some dif uh, dependent objects suppose uh, a lead product so lead product exists, does not exist any of uh... so this is the product item description. Suppose this is a product. Uh, okay, so then you will add that dependent object also. So it will select. Uh, so we, we will be able to select the child or related uh, object criteria as well in 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 this routines. So similarly, you will form a condition, and then you can see. Uh, uh, during the selection of criteria itself, so we can see the uh, the meet criteria. So with this conditions uh, in lead object, we have zero records. Now, if I remove this, the, it will give the criteria that is one or three records are meeting with this criteria. Okay. And for date time fields, uh, you can choose uh, the operators like this until since 
uh, and then uh, we can use the run run date quarter uh, then we can uh, we can use some operators plus or minus okay so that is uh, possible so once we um, once we added the criteria then you can uh, review and then submit now if you submit uh, what will happen it it, it uh, so the access is hourly right Okay, the access is hourly. So system will uh, automatically assigns this routines in that particular uh, slot. So if we want to, uh, so about this uh, routing schedules, right? So system automatically uh, divides uh, like every day, uh, every day into 24 uh, available slots because that's a uh, minimum right so for every uh one hour one hour for each hour it will uh, it will be th there will be its slot and um, for each time slot it will assign five routines so we might have uh, different routines so it will assign uh, five routines and for each routine in that particular time slot so it will take maximum of 10,000 rows. So the remaining will be, will move to a uh, next time slot or next, next, in next time slot. Uh, um, it will, it will go. So once uh, the, the routine is assigned, right? So it continues uh, to the same specific day and time. So suppose um, for the first time, uh, it checks uh, uh, it, it checks for the suitable uh, time so we don't have any option to choose uh, so at this particular time this routine sh uh, should run every every hour or every day something like that the system automatically selects that available slot So it can it can take any time within that one hour. So if we choose uh, hourly slot, and then um, so these are uh, different time slots uh, available for per uh, per period, either per hourly, weekly, daily, yearly. Um, then uh, suppose now we'll go to uh, sandbox and then <coughs> so now we, we can see how we can link um the smart actions uh, here while creating you can also uh, use the skip templates and then you can create your own um uh, protein Okay, so here you can see more uh, action types, right? So in addition to field updates and email, so you are able to see uh, some other uh, actions like create, quote, create, task, delete, opti, update, or owner. So these additional actions types can be uh, added using 
uh, the smart actions. So if you go to smart actions now, uh, you need the sandbox. So here, if you notice uh, the routines tool will be available only in the sandbox. No, sorry. Routines will be available in mainline only and uh, the smart actions will be available only in the application composer. So if you want to use particular smart action in a routine, so it should be published. So because of that dependency. So now if you go to here uh, in routines, right? I'll just refresh. Uh, now you can't edit uh, anything in routines. Okay, because sandbox is active. So, and then uh, coming to act smart actions, if you don't have sandbox, this will not, um, this will not work. Uh, so first we need to create a smart action and then uh, we can, uh, we can use that in a routine. So here while creating uh, the smart action, right? Uh, if you choose any of uh, smart action. So mostly uh, if you choose UI based, so then you might not be able to see. Here in application. Um, so this will come only for these three applications, help desk, sales, service center. So, but if you go to, if you choose the uh, action type as rest based or object function based, so then you will see a different action type called So I'm choosing um, Opti update status. And if you now go to application, you can see uh, in addition to sales service center and then help desk, I can see uh, the routines. So here it should be selected as uh, application as routines. So then this smart action can be uh, used for uh, routines. Now I'll choose, okay. And then here I'll patch because I want to update. And we need to give the ID. So that is opti ID. Here opportunity ID is opti number it seems. Because this is a, a, I mean, in REST, we can use a opti number as uh, the unique ID, I mean, a primary key. Then in body, you can choose the payload. status so you need to give the uh, uh, status value suppose this uh, I want to update this uh, as an action don't need any confirmation message and then just review update up op update status and here I'll say uh, So 
so if you have a complex logic right suppose uh, something like using groovy uh, then if you want to run that groovy in routine then you can create a uh, object function based uh, you can create an a smart action by calling uh, the object function and that that uh, smart action can be used or can be called in routine no smart action created now i'll publish this Smart action publish it. Now I'll go to the routine screen and then I'll create a new routine now. Don't need any template. This same uh, thing can be done without a smart action also, but just to uh, showcase uh, how we can use smart action. So I'm using this example. Here action type, you can see a new action added. That is of update of the uh, status to open. So I have selected that action and now here the condition is, I'll say status okay. So wherever it is lost and just making it to open so something like this and then 137 records we have now okay uh, our routine is created so this is trigger is monthly but uh, if you go to action and then you can run ad hoc so i'm running and this routine is submitting now submitted so if you want to check the routine status, you can go and uh, view. Okay, you can see the routine status. And it's completed. Volume, 137. Now we will go and we will verify okay. or, or now we can go and can check the same opportunity and if we go to rules now Earlier it is uh, earlier it is uh, 137, right? Now the count is reduced. Maybe if you are uh, errored out, uh, I mean, uh, not updated because of some reason, uh, maybe uh, some, some dependency, uh, but uh, we can see now the criteria is reduced. And um, uh, suppose uh, if we submit uh, our, as uh, some sales admin type, and uh, once this user is inactive, uh, or or if you want to change uh, to a different owner, so this this will be submitted with the owner, who 
whatever is submitted it runs with that owner so in case um, this user is uh, not available or uh, switch at the company so then you can use this switch owner option and then you can change the owner um